It's becoming more and more obvious that AI is going to change the world in a profound way. But what's also becoming obvious is Google and specifically DeepMind are a clear leader in this space as they've been having some huge scientific and healthcare breakthroughs. Here's the CEO of Google talking about their biggest breakthrough yet. And honestly, this breakthrough is enormous. It's going to change the world. And I'm so excited to see how this develops over time. And the last time the BBC was here, a few years ago, you had already invented the core technology that would go on to become ChatGPT and Gemini. And at that time, no one had really heard of it outside of, outside of Google. And yet it's transformed the world quite clearly. Is there anything similar you've got buried away in the labs with the white coats now that we should know about? Look, I mean, we are working on a range all the way from, you know, our self-driving technology is making extraordinary progress and, and it already is showing safety benefits scaling up that technology will avoid a lot of human fatalities, which has a lot of societal benefits. I genuinely think what we call in this umbrella is AI. Yeah. You know, we didn't even talk about things like AlphaFold, which won yeah. the Nobel Prize and which is helping. There are many, many biologists and chemists around the world using it to better discover yeah. new drugs. It hundreds of millions of years of PhD research in a few months. That's right. That's exactly right. It would take one PhD, their entire PhD to do one protein. And we have done around 300 million proteins in a matter of few months, and we've made it openly available to everyone. People may, may not appreciate that in the UK. It's yeah. done from Google DeepMind in London, and, and Demis Hassabis and John Chumper, who led the work, received the Nobel Prize in chemistry last year for it. But I think we, in some ways, we can take progress here for granted. We all used to talk about the Turing test. Yeah. We've kind of gone past it, and no one talks about it. If I had told five years ago to people that if you go to San Francisco, there'll be many driverless cars yeah. driving around without anybody in the driver's seat, <laughs> people wouldn't have believed it. It just happened. D didn't they start honking at each other? Were they talking to each other? Were they communicating? Uh, uh, I hope not. <laughs> I don't quite think so, but you know. They're alive. <laughs> but uh, you know, maybe, you know, look, we are using AI to better understand how dolphins communicate, et cetera. And right. like, you know, so I do think we'll, there'll be serendipitous moments like that, but it's exciting. And what is important is, as humans, we adapt to these technologies. The fact that, you know, I recently had my dad in a Waymo car. He is over 80 years old. I was in the back and he was in the front. Seeing him experience it helped me understand the progress we all take for granted. And, and I think there are going to be many such wonderful things in the future. So everyone's been obsessing over ChatGPT and which chatbots are ranking highest on benchmarks, but Google won a Nobel Prize for work that compressed hundreds of millions of years of research into months and made it free for every scientist on Earth. DeepMind's been solving problems that actually saves lives. AlphaFold winning the Nobel Prize proves that a huge amount of AI value will come from solving real scientific problems, not just the latest chatbots which dominates the headlines. The Nobel Prize represents the absolute pinnacle of scientific achievement. Committees spend years evaluating contributions before awarding it, and when AI wins a Nobel Prize, that signals something fundamentally different from generating plausible text or making images. AlphaFold solved a problem that stumped biologists for 50 years. Protein folding determines how every protein in your body works. Get the fold wrong and you can't design drugs that bind to that protein correctly. Every new drug requires understanding protein structures. Before AlphaFold, determining one protein structure consumed an entire PhD student's work maybe five to seven years of their life. AlphaFold changed the timeline from years to minutes. AlphaFold predicted structures for 300 million proteins. That's more proteins than humanity studied in the entire history of biology before AlphaFold existed. That matters for drug discovery in ways that directly saves lives. Cancer treatments, malaria drugs, treatments for genetic diseases all depend on understanding how proteins fold and interact. Faster drug discovery means treatments reach patients years earlier. For someone dying of cancer, three years faster drug discovery means lives are saved. And this impact scales across billions of people. Google's decision to make AlphaFold openly available amplifies the impact beyond what keeping it to themselves ever could. Most companies would guard breakthrough AI technology fiercely. They'd charge licensing fees, restrict access, try to monetize every query. The conventional business wisdom says if you invest billions in research that wins Nobel Prizes, you protect that investment through patents and paywalls. Google took the opposite approach. 
they published the AlphaFold code. They made the protein structure database free and graduate students in any country can access it without paying a dollar. This open approach actually builds a stronger competitive position than a secrecy would. Every biology and chemist using AlphaFold becomes invested in Google's AI ecosystem. They learn to trust Google's scientific AI work. When those researchers need other tools, they think of Google first because Google already proved they deliver results and don't hold science hostage for profit. That goodwill compounds, and so does the data advantage. When researchers use AlphaFold, Google sees what protein scientists care most about. They understand which disease areas get the most attention. They learn where their predictions match experimental results and where they need improvement. All of that feedback makes the next version of AlphaFold better. Competitors who keep their systems closed don't get such a positive feedback loop. This strategy only works when you have underlying resources competitors can't match. Google has the compute infrastructure to train these models. They have a deep minds research team. They have the capital to fund projects that might not pay off for a decade or ever. I actually use Google DeepMind as a case study in my AI course because it's one of the most fascinating companies in the entire AI landscape. DeepMind operates at the cutting edge of artificial intelligence as Google's innovative powerhouse. Their groundbreaking research pushes scientific boundaries, revolutionizes entire industries, solves real world problems, and enhances lives of billions around the globe. You can see an overview of their work on the screen, from AlphaFold to training robots. We're doing an early release of our new AI course. This course is for anyone who wants to go from confused on AI to confidently understanding the key players and real trends and exactly what is happening in the world of AI right now and why this matters. The course is currently $99, but come Sunday evening, we will be increasing the price by two to three X. Over time, we will also be adding more modules. If you get in now, you get access for life. DeepMind's combination of scientific breakthroughs and real world robotics applications positions them as one of the most likely AI labs to transform huge benefits to humanity over the next decade. Most AI labs focus on one domain. Anthropic builds language models. OpenAI chases artificial general intelligence. DeepMind operates across every major category where AI can help humanity. This bread matters because different problems require different approaches. Language models use transformer architects. Robots need reinforcement learning in physical environments. Scientific problems often combine neural networks and domain specific principles from physics or chemistry. Self-driving requires real-time perception and decision-making under uncertainty. DeepMind builds expertise across all those techniques. When a new challenge emerges that needs multiple AI approaches working together, they can combine methods other labs don't have. The scientific credibility DeepMind earned through the Nobel Prize opens doors that commercial AI products can't access. Pharmaceutical companies trust DeepMind to work on drug discovery because they prove themselves with AlphaFold. Government research agencies fund DeepMind projects because they deliver peer-reviewed results. And the robotic trajectory shows how DeepMind's work moves from research to real-world impact. RoboCat trains robots to adapt to new tasks and equipment. This matters enormous for practical deployment. Traditional robots need extensive programming for each specific task. You can't easily transfer a robot train to weld cars over to assembling electronics. RoboCat's ability to generalize across different arms and tasks means one training approach works across many applications. Warehouses can deploy robots that learn new products without complete programming. The combination of credibility, breadth, and progression from research to deployment positions DeepMind uniquely. They aren't just publishing papers, they're winning Nobel Prizes and deploying robots and preventing traffic deaths with autonomous driving. The next decade of AI will separate labs that chase benchmarks from labs that change the world. DeepMind already proved which category they occupy. Picture this, a potential client searches for what your business offers and your YouTube video appears. Before they've even booked a call, they've built trust with you, turning them into a warm lead. That's why our clients are hitting $100,000 months because YouTube turns attention into authority. If you run a business, book a call and I'll show you exactly how to make this happen.